I grow up, I want to be a graphic designer. When I grow up, I want to be a chef. What do you want to be when you grow up? Who will cross your path and change your whole direction? Welcome to the Cool Job Show, where you're going to learn about creative careers that you can love for life. Hi, I'm Jovan O'Connor. I live right here in Philadelphia, and I'm a fashion designer. I love my job. I can't wait to tell you why. What does a fashion designer do? In my job, I design clothing. Every single piece of clothing that you see behind me, I sketched it, designed it, sewed it together, and made it into a full garment that anybody, myself or you or anyone can wear. One of the best things about my job is that I get a chance to um, imagine things and then make them come to life. One of the things that I really like about my job is the fact that each day is different from another day. Because one day I can be working on a little tutu for my dog, and then another day I could be working on a gown or a jacket or even a sweatshirt. When did you learn about fashion design? My first memory of knowing that there was a such thing as fashion design was when I was a little kid and I was watching the Cinderella movie. So she wanted to go to the ball, but unfortunately she didn't have a dress. So she had her mice, her little mice and birdie friends, and they like all pitched in together and really like hook her, hooked her dress up. So that was literally the first time that I thought that I that I even like realized what fashion design was. How did you become a fashion designer? When I was in high school, I did not study fashion design, but I wound up going to Philadelphia University right here in Philly. And that's where I actually received my degree in fashion design. The best part about going to school for fashion design was like, we really did have everything that we needed in there. All types of mannequins, sewing machines, even like the tools that we used to design with. Yep, Philadelphia University definitely taught me everything I know about fashion design and they did a really great job. Where do you work every day? I work in a design studio. So a design studio is a little different from a boutique. With a boutique, people are able to come in and out of the space and you have to help the customers if they need to try something on and if they wanna buy something, you help them with that and you purchase it. So a design studio can be similar, but it has a more of a private setup because as a designer, I'd like to be able to design without interruption. Not all studios are the same, but in my studio, I have enough space to actually display the work that I've worked on. So that's more like my showroom area of the studio. And this um, area is more like my workspace. What types of tools and materials do you use to do your job? I really love my design studio because it really has everything I could possibly need to make clothing. So the major thing that you need first and foremost is a good table. For fashion design, our tables tend to be a little bit bigger than the average table because sometimes we're working on things that are really big. If I have a gown and it has all of this flowing fabric, I don't want I don't want it to be hanging off the table or the floor. I want to be able to work on any part of it at the same time. Next, we have sewing machines. In here, we have all different types of sewing machines. We have the machines that sew things together. We have machines that finish things on the edges. We have buttonhole machines and even machines that specialize in making stretch fabrics. 
you always have to have a good iron and ironing board. Fabric works so much better when it's smooth and not wrinkled. It looks so much better. Then we have dress forms. The dress forms serve as like the models. So whenever I'm making something, if I want to make sure that it fits right, I put it on the dress form to make sure that it fits right, even before a person ever tries it on, just to make sure that things look right. We use our rulers, scissors. Um, I even have little scissors, because sometimes you really need to cut like with more precision than like these big clunky ones. I always use pins to hold things together as I'm beginning to sew them, and even to hold the pattern pieces onto the fabric. And believe not, a good mirror, because when someone comes to try something on, they don't want to just take my word for it. They want to be able to look at it and see, and we can tell if there's anything that needs to be adjusted, how we can fix that. So it's always good to have a great mirror as well. Who inspired you to become a fashion designer? Who inspired me to become a fashion designer? First of all, it's my grandmother. She actually had went to school for fashion when she was in high school. And my grandmother went on to the manufacturing places, the different factories in Philadelphia that used to make clothing. So that came natural, I didn't even know. So that was just like genetically hand down. What was your journey like becoming a fashion designer? When I was growing up, I used to sketch all the time. So I didn't think that I even needed to know how to sew. I thought that I just do the sketches and then somebody else sews it. When I was in school, you still had to learn how to sew in order to pass the class. And you know, I'll be honest, like I had to take um, a class or two over again. I, I remember I took summer classes to try to make sure that I stayed on track and then I had regular classes, so not only did I have to make sure I studied for those classes, I would still be up all night long trying to finish my sewing things because when you first learn how to sew, it takes time. Like, you're not, like, gonna do it really fast. Like, you have to get to that point. Why do you love your job? One thing that I love about my job is that I really get to be creative. Like, I really get to think about something beautiful and make it actually. And then one of the most rewarding parts of my job is seeing people wearing something that I made and watching them feel beautiful in it. I always say the thrill of the big day because I've been out for a lot of big days. There, there are weddings, there are performances, there are birthdays, trips, just any time when somebody really has something special and they want to feel special. And a lot of times feeling special involves looking special. So I really, you know, I'm glad that I can help someone look their best whenever it's important for them. What's your advice to creative kids? One of the most important things that my job has, told, has taught me is that you can literally do anything that you put your mind to. That's really all design is. Having something to, in your mind and making it come to life. To become a fashion designer specifically, I would say pay attention to fashion and really what um, helps you be a good designer is knowing what's next. And not only think about what it is that you want to design, but think about who you're designing for and what they want to be able to wear. And that's what makes you become a successful designer. So I hope my little video inspires you to find a cool job that you can love for life. I hope this video inspires you to find a job that you can love for life. If this is your first time watching, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel to get our latest cool jobs videos featuring new creative careers. Also, consider sharing our YouTube channel with other people who you think would benefit from watching the Cool Job Show. Check out our other art teacher resources located in our description below. If you like this video, let us know by giving us a thumbs up or by leaving us a comment.